Hey everybody, in this episode, we're going back to college. Yes, college. We're here at North Dakota State College of Science. We're gonna check out the Komatsu Diesel Technology Program. Come check it out. Woohoo! Morning. What are you doing on this side of town? I'm uptown all the way. I'm hip. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm hip. This is my people right here. They know me. All the hip cool stuff is in town. All the Now we're going to hang out with college kids. College kids know I'm hip and cool. It's a pretty full uh, car there. Full day. We're going up to Wapaton, North Dakota. That's fun to say, Wapaton. Francisco, that's fun to say. Francisco. So we're going up to NDSCS, North Dakota State College of Science. I'm excited. This is, we've done a lot of work with Komatsu and RMS, who's their local distributor in Minnesota, and we've worked with this program to promote it. I've never actually been on campus. So we are gonna go up and see what it's like to spend a day in the life of a diesel technician at NDSCS. So let's go do this. Stretched out at all? That was a long drive. Wasn't that bad? Like three hours? We're here in beautiful Wapaton, North Dakota at North uh, Dakota State College of Science. So we're gonna go check in, meet with the team there, and uh, find out what it's like to be a day in the life of an NDSCS student. Not a not be a day in the life. Not be a day and what it's like to be. It. We're gonna find out what it's like for a day in the life. Whatever Irik just said, we're gonna do that today. So NDSCS is the number one college in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Start the promo yeah, right now. Sound bite. A lot of stuff going on here. I wouldn't anticipate this is normally, uh, it, it really is. It's just like a normal college campus with all different activities and offerings you guys do. You said you guys are your own city. It's, 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 we're our own community here. We take care of all the snow plowing, all the grass. We have a full-time staff. Are you the mayor then? Or? <laughs> Mayor Jim. Huh? He does that for audio. I don't know that I've ever had that done in front of my face. North Dakota State College of Science is the second oldest continuing operating two-year college in the country. We began in 1903. And, and you look at our history and you go back and you look at the forefathers, Think of that in 1903, that our forefathers had the insight to understand what the socioeconomic um, movement needed to move North Dakota forward was a trained workforce. That's 1903. Look at the history of most technical colleges and community colleges. They didn't come about until the 1960s. So our history is very deep and, and uh, we have a very rich tradition. Your president is pretty hands-on here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's, again, there's no real script here, there's no right or wrong, it's more just learning more about you guys. Here's how'd you get into it? Um, I started running equipment when I was really little. I think the first time I drove a skid loader I was seven. I'm from originally from Sioux City, Iowa. I live in North Sioux City, South Dakota, which is about two miles over the border. I grew up running equipment for my stepdad. We ran basically Komatsu for everything, except for smaller utility stuff but I have a, a big background in running it and decided that being a mechanic was the better route. My favorite thing at the school would be the specific class that we're in, in Komatsu. My favorite thing was engines because we got to completely tear down engines. We learned about some of the programming with them and troubleshooting is a big thing because it's, it's hard to learn on the job. So when you're in a shop where you can ask questions about certain things, it's very helpful to have that skill and have the instructor to teach you. Being a mechanic isn't, you know, just getting dirty and covered in grease and sweat every day. I mean, of course you're going to have those days, but you're going to have 
days where you're sweating at any job. You can really apply everything you learn here to life. You know, it's not just how to fix an engine or how to fix something, you know, it help guide yourself and set yourself up for a great career. You don't have to be a mechanic your entire life. You know, you, most people that own a shop started off as a mechanic and just worked their way up through the ranks. So you got it to start. Tell me what was uh, what was the issue here? You um, We're not 100% done with it yet. We think it was something to do with the fuel cutoff solenoid. It wasn't opening completely, which won't allow fuel to your injection pump to let the machine run. So now we got to figure out why it's not allowing it to engage. So what they do is they actually go through and they break the machine. That I can do. <laughs> Hi, Rick. I'm, if you ever need, do you ever hire, outsource that for someone to just come in and break stuff? Uh, we could maybe probably work on something like oh. that. I could do that. But otherwise, they go through and they have to try figure out, they pick a, a circuit, let's say, an electrical, and they have to figure out how it works. Yep. And then they have to go through and say, okay, we want it to do this. And then they break it to, make, to test it to see if it does what they want it to do. Uh, the students really like it because they, they see things when they're on their internship that happen in the field, like, oh, I want to recreate this because it was a really hard one to figure out for us. Yeah, yeah. So they try and go and figure that out and how to make it actually happen without breaking the machine too much, but being able to kind of throw the other guys off. So sledgehammers are not in. Sledgehammers yeah. are not okay. Take that back, take Sorry. my application back. <laughs> so far I've told them to verify there's a key in it, and then I've also told them I think it was a roach problem is their bug. They don't seem to find me funny though. This is, uh, it's tough. Uh, the Komatsu program here is a two-year program and the students are industry sponsored and what that means is those students already have made a relationship with the dealer that they're working for. They come in, they start their schooling, they're here for three-fourths of a semester, a semester and a half, and then they go out and they do an internship at the dealer. They come back here for eight weeks, they go back up for eight weeks, they come back for eight, go out for eight, come back for eight and graduate. So what's going on down here? Uh, just looking for bad connections. We get the machine won't swing, so I'm just looking for something that's gonna jump out at me. Huh. Cover all the simple stuff first. Those seem to always get you. Are you graduating now too? Yeah, one nice. less than one week. I'll be oh. full, a full time tech. It's you, really excited. excited. I'm really excited for yeah. that. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about this whole program? Uh, I'd have to say the internships because you take um, you take in what you learn in the classroom and then you get to go out and use it in the field. And being out in the field you get to see stuff and experience stuff that you normally wouldn't. I mean it's one thing to study it but when you actually get to go out and see it, troubleshoot it with a tech that's been doing it forever, it makes it a lot easier to learn it. And then by the time we're out there, full time techs, we've probably already seen we've already we've probably already seen that problem a time or two. Just I mean, I can tell because you're sitting with your hand inside of an excavator right now. It's yeah, it's it's one of the this program that rocks. I have to say, there's not I can't. I think it's one of the best around. What are you doing here? Oh, hey, Eric. That was a fun episode, wasn't? It? Well, now that I'm pretty much certified, they've trained me everything, I think I can go ahead and take this car apart. So, they told me where the blinker fluid was. I don't know, I'm just gonna start unplugging stuff. Figure it out, I don't know. Hopefully you guys had fun. Put in the comments, what do you wanna be when you grow up? We learned all about diesel technology, way above my skill, pay grade, level, I don't know. But put in the comments, hopefully you like this video. Uh, thanks for tuning in, we'll see you in the next episode.